I've noticed I, I can start my day without a morning routine if I if I choose to. Same. And and I'm still going to have an effective day, but it's not at the same level. It's not, dude. And that's the whole thing. It's, it's not at the same level. It, it, it's, I, I'm very aware when I've gone from uh, to basically, you know, set myself up with whatever that routine is, that that day will be a 12 out of 10. Without that, it might get to a nine or 10, but it just from my experience that it's like, it's like plugging into a battery. Yeah, a hundred percent. I also think, and this is where my morning routine came into play because it's 3 a.m. cold shower, affirmations, gratitude, meditation. On the drive to the gym, I listen to a 15 minute motivational video, like success motivation. I do a workout for an hour and 10 to 15 minutes. Then I do 15 minutes of steady state cardio where I do my content creation. Then I come home and I do a cold plunge for around three to five minutes. Now I do that every fucking day. The reason why is because that's my me time. So I can be Cole. I don't have to be dad. I don't have to be husband. I don't have to be mentor, motivator, coach, et cetera. I get to just be Cole. But also, just like you said, it raises my frequency. So when I have to be dad, you get the best fucking version of me. When I have to be husband, you get the best fucking version of me. I believe in showing up as your best self at all times. And I despise individuals who play victim in the aspect of like, well, I'm having a bad day. So I didn't show up presently for my kid, my partner, my jobs, my calls, and more. I don't believe in that. Mm. I believe in showing up as the best version, period. And it's why I do that on social media when I'm doing podcasts like this. And I make sure that I put myself in that state by working on my mind. Mm. I think it's necessary. Well, honestly, it's the, uh, you know, you and I are very much aligned in that respect. Like it's the, the, the mindset, the mentality is, is arguably the most, the, the biggest thing that I work on every day. Same. Um, you know, and, and I found the more that I've focused on that, even something I've started recently is I've started not touching my phone for the first uh, 75 to 90 minutes of being awake. Dude, same. I don't touch it at all. Um, and I've just found for me, it's just given me a different level of clarity. I've actually started training um, when I train in the morning first thing with no music on. Now, for me, I've found the no music on, it's almost like I don't have music to distract my thoughts. So I've just found doing it for me, again, to your point, you know, it's whatever kind of works for you. But for me, it's giving me more clarity on the day. You know, I was uh, I read the um, reading one of the autobiographies of Henry Ford, the founder of the Ford Company, right? Yeah. And you talk about some entrepreneurs talk about, you know, not necessarily needing a morning routine. Well, actually, when you look into him, one of the things that he used to do was he had a tree on his property. He would go out and just sit by his tree in silence. Yeah. Now, he wasn't sitting there going home and meditating. You know, this is, this is one of the, you know, the forefathers of the financial game in the United States, one of the OG yeah. billionaires, right? But he was literally getting solitude. You know, Jackson from, uh, you know, he, he talks about too, it was just solitude time for him. That was, that was his routine. 